Okay, this is just a super rough overview of limits for next year, just to give you a little bit of an idea if you're taking calc. Um, the informal definition of a limit is as a function eventually gets closer and closer to a specific value, that would be a y value, okay? As the function gets closer to a specific output or y value, as x approaches a chosen value from the right, okay, we say that is the right-hand limit. If it gets closer and closer to a specific value from the left, we call that a left-hand limit. And if the function approaches the same limit from the left and the right, then we say that is the limit of the function at that value. It does not have to be the value of the function at that value. It has to be what it approaches. If it approaches two different values from the left and right, then you say the limit does not exist. All right. Um, this is really hard to read, so I'm just going to go to the examples, okay? So this notation... <clears throat> And some of this isn't going to make a ton of sense till you've seen several examples, so please be paying attention as we go here. This notation means, here we go, approaches zero from the left. Do you see, do you see the minus behind the zero here? Okay, so this means approaches zero from the left or from the negative side. So as I'm getting closer to an x value of 0, which would be the y x, whoops, x equals 0 is the y axis. So I'm following along the function, do, 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 do. As I get closer and closer to 0, what is the y value that I'm approaching right there? Is it negative 1? Isn't this the axis right here? Everybody see it? So the y value is negative 1 here. All right, then this says, as we're approaching zero from the right, from the positive side, what's happening? Well, if I was following along here, doop, jumps down here, do 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 do. As I get closer here, now there's an open circle, but it doesn't matter. As I got closer and closer and closer, I would be getting closer and closer to a y value of what? It would never hit, but it would be super close to a y value of 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so that's what we would say here. Doesn't have to equal, it's gotta be getting close. Now, to, to decide if the function has a limit at zero, you would say, is it approaching the same value from the left and from the right? That one was clearly not. So you would say this does not exist. Now, we are going to have questions that ask us literally, like, what is the value of f of 0? Now, I wrote on it, so it's a little hard to tell. But what is the actual value of the function? If we put in a 0, is the solid circle down here, so this would be 1. Okay, so those aren't negative 1. Sorry, my bad. Those aren't necessarily the same thing. The left-hand limit, the right-hand limit, whether it has a limit, aren't necessarily the same as the value of the actual function. Makes more sense as we practice. Okay, at negative two, this says the limit at negative two, or mm, no, it doesn't. It says two from the left, two from the left. So as I get closer to positive two, which would be here, coming from the left, let me do a different color. If I'm coming from the left, what is the y value I'm getting closer to? There's a worksheet. Did you not get it? Anybody else need the limits notes? Okay. As I'm coming closer, closer from the left, getting closer to an x value of 2, what is the y value I'm closing in on, guys? 1. All right. As I get closer and closer to 2 from the right, so here's x equals 2 right here this line 
if I'm coming at it from the right, I'm way up here. So the y value is 6. Okay, so, oh, that's a weird question. This asks, what is the limit at 1? Okay, not at 2. All right, I'm going to erase over here because I can't see. That's a weird question. But this question is saying, what is the limit at 1? Here is x equals 1. If I come close to there from the left or from the right, I'm approaching the same y value, which is a little hairy. Is it like uh, 1, 2 and a half maybe? Okay, it's continuous there, so it has a limit. It doesn't jump around, but it's just a weird question because it didn't seem like it went with the other questions. All right, you have this question. Now, when I look at a picture like this, I want to kind of say, oh, it's going to be the limit does not exist because they're approaching two different things. But it really depends where they, what they ask. If they asked us about the limit at x equals 1, it would have 1. But if it's where this gap is, it might not have 1. So it has a left-hand limit at 2. So if you're coming towards the x value of 2, you're following the function towards x equals 2 from the left, what y value are you getting close to? The y value you're getting close to from the left, right? Do we know our left and right? <laughs> I hope I know mine. This would be if you're starting on the negative side of the function and you're approaching x equals 2. Here's the line x equals 2. So they get close coming from the left. The y value is up at 3. Does everybody see that now? Okay, as I approach from the right side to get close to x equals 2, which is this value here, the y value is getting closer to what? 1. Is everybody okay? No? Nope. So the value, it's we're talking about at 2. So we're talking about where the function hits 2. So the first one said, so I'll do this one in purple. We're coming from the left. The y value is getting close to 3. I'll do this one in green. If we're coming from the right, the y value is getting close to 1. Better? Now it asks, what is the limit at 2? So the question becomes, did we approach the same value from the left and the right, and we did not, we didn't get the same y value? So this is does not exist. No. Uh, you won't on the quiz. It's a multiple choice question on the quiz, so. All right, this looks like a hot mess, yes? Okay, the first one says, we did this the beginning of the year. If you put in a negative 2 to this function, what are you going to get out? Well, look where negative 2 is. Are you going to get out anything? It's undefined, right? There's some kind of an asymptote there. There's a vertical asymptote at that point. All right, this says, as x approaches negative 2, what is the limit? And it doesn't say from the left or from the right. And it actually doesn't matter because if we go from the left, it's going down. We go from the right, it's going up. It's not approaching the same thing, so this is does not exist. I feel like this is going to get easier. I just... I'm waiting for that to happen when it starts to click here. All right, f of 0. If we put a 0 into this function, do we actually get out a value? Yeah, that's the solid circle right up here. It says if we put in x equals 0, we will get out y equals 4. It was a solid circle. So this is 4. This is not a limit question. That's just evaluating the function. 
Then it asks, does this function have a limit at zero? Well, if you're approaching towards zero from the left or from the right, are you approaching the same value? Nope, so this one is does not exist. I feel like we've had a ton of those. All right, f of two. Did they show us where this function is at two? Sometimes they'll like have an open dot there and then some random dot up here, but there's no dot, is there, on the line two? So this is undefined. Is there a dot somewhere, just an open circle? Yours is probably really hard to see, huh? There's an open circle when x is two. What? Okay. Um, when x is 2, there's an open circle, so it's undefined. And if you put does not exist, I don't care. I'm not going to be picky about that. I didn't ask you for an actual, I asked you a limit question on the quiz, not the value of a function. Okay, as the limit gets close to 2, this could be a, the final exam question. As I get close to 2, from the left side and from the right side, what y value am I getting close to from both of those? Even though it's an open circle, it's hard to tell. Is it like one half maybe? Okay. It doesn't matter that there was an open circle there. The limit is not asking what is the value at two. It's asking what is it approaching as you get close to two. And the y value it is approaching is about one half. All right, finishing up this question, what is the value of the function at four? If we put in an x equals four, isn't there a dot right there? If you put in a four, you're supposed to get out a two, yes? But as you get closer to four, okay, from the left and the right, it's not what is it at, at four. As you get closer to four from the left, and from the right, yeah, you can say it, it, what you say is it's increasing without bound. So let's just put an infinity. Miss Scoopdell will help you. If you take calc here next year, she'll help you figure out if that's how she wants you to answer that question. But that's not what's on the quiz. It's one, one more like uh, this guy F would be on the quiz. All right. Oh, this still isn't very big. Let's see. Okay, let's see how we're doing. If you put a 1 in, what do you get out? Yes, it's a solid dot here at 2. If you are approaching 1 from both sides, so you're getting close to an x value of 1 from this side and from this side, what are we going to say? From the left, it's approaching like 3.5. From the right, it's approaching 1. So if it's not the same value from both sides, it just does not exist. All right. Four. Where is this value at four? Does it have any more values at four? It's undefined, right? There's no place it's defined at four. It's just an open circle. But what is the limit as you get close to four? As you come from the left or the right towards an x value of 4, you actually have a y value that it's approaching. What is that y value? Looks like 2. Yep. Starting to make a little bit of sense. Okay, let's try this. Do you have this question somewhere? Okay, the limit as x approaches negative 6. Okay, there's nothing fancy going on at negative 6. It's counting by 2s, so this is the line for negative 6 right here. But what does it appear that the y value is approaching from both sides? About 4? All right, it says down here, what is the limit at 4? So over here at 4... This line is x equals 4. Now, remember, even though the dot is up here, this is asking for the limit. And as I get closer to 4 from both sides, the y value it's at is what? 
negative six yet because it's counting by twos down here. So if it had asked us what is f of four, then it would have been two, but that's not what they asked. They asked for the limit. So it's getting closer and closer. Okay. On this picture, now we're using the G one. So we're using this guy over here. As we approach four, what's happening on both sides of four? Going up. So we could put an infinity here. What's happening at negative six? This is negative six. If we're coming from the left, it's going up. If we're coming from the right, it's going down. So what do we say then? Does not exist because you can't be going two different places. All right, now we got some more practice with left hand and right hand limits. This one is from the left. See how the minus is behind the three? So it's positive three. It's approaching positive three right here. But coming from the left, what y value is it getting close to? It went down, but then it started back up, and it's getting close to two. But if we're approaching from the right, as we get close to an x value of three, we're all the way up at four even though it's an open circle, okay? So does the limit exist at three? No, from the left was a different number from the right, so it does not exist. All right, can you try this one on your own? Because this would make a great quiz question or exam question, I guess. Remember, it's a y value. What is the y value getting close to as you come from the left? What is the y value getting close to or staying at if you come from the right? So what is the limit at 3? It's just 4. It doesn't matter that there's a dot down here. If it asked us for f of 3, the value would be 1. But the limit, as we get close to 3, it was getting close to 4. It's approaching 4 until it suddenly dropped down there, but that's not what it's asking. All right, what about this one? As you get close to 1 from the left, what are we approaching, guys? Y value of 1. As you come at it from the right, what is the Y value at? Three, so at one we say does not exist. If it asked the value of the function at one, it would have been that solid dot at two. All right, so got a couple more questions. You have these, right? These last four? Okay. So this has a special name you'll learn next year. I think it's called a cusp point because it does this weird um max thing right there but as you get closer and closer to two an x value of two from both sides what's the y value approaching yep as you get closer and closer to four from both sides what is the y value approaching here we good what about here As you get closer and closer to two from the left and from the right, the y value is approaching four. Doesn't matter that's down here. That would be what's probably on the quiz. You know, the choices would be four, two, does not exist. I don't know, zero. <laughs> okay, so you got to pick the right choice. All right, what about here? The limit as x approaches two. The y value is getting close to 2. The limit as x approaches 3. Here's x of 3. So what are we going to say there? Does not exist because it was two different values. Seem okay? All right. I think I have some. Oh, do we have one more? 
The limit as x approaches 4, what do you think? From the left, it would be 4. From the right, it would be 2. So does not exist. Okay. These are extras that we don't need to do, but I did want to go over a delta math question with you, okay? Just to show you what you're going to see on delta math. So for this crazy function, let me see if I can scoot this up just a little bit. Here we go. Okay. So you're going to see question like this in delta math. At this says what? Can anybody put that one in words? Approaches two from the left. So positive two over here. From the left, the y value is approaching 2. As it approaches 2 from the right, hmm, 2 from the right would be a clear up here, here at 7. So the limit as x approaches 2 would be does not exist. You'd click that button. And then it does ask what is the value of the actual function at 2, Ooh, those were both open circles, right? So that's where you would put in the undefined one. One more or not? Oh, this is just as this is the other kind. There's also a few where you don't have to do all that work. It just says the limit as x approaches negative four. So, oh, that's interesting because it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. As x approaches negative 4 from this direction and this direction, what does it look like? Y is at 2. Okay. So that's the delta math. It won't take you very long. There is one question on the final. Stop the recording half hour.